They are only dropping Blantons in one location locally. They don't tell you how much. Now, I have no idea if there's gonna be anybody here or if there's gonna be 20 people in line. That's the person that's probably not going to get a box. I'm doing this as an adventure. They just posted the list. This bottle of Blanton's is one of the most sought after bourbons on the planet. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? Let's find out. It's about 6.45 in the morning and we are headed to the Alabama State Bourbon Drop. This one's particularly interesting because they are only dropping Blanton's in one location locally and that's really all they're dropping there. And so everyone in line at this location should be there just for the Blanton's. There are no other bottles that are a significant draw. So this gives us a good idea of what the demand is for Blanton's. When I say this bottle is the most sought after bourbon on the planet, I mean there are a lot of people looking for Blanton's. Not that it's the most desirable bourbon necessarily. Everyone who's casually into bourbon or just beginning their journey trying to try harder to find and more exclusive bourbons, this is one of those unicorns that they search for because it's attainable and it just has taken its own life in popular culture. It's appeared in movies like John Wick and it's got the beautiful bottle and it is a good pour. A lot of folks that are really into bourbon hunting hate on it just because it's so in demand. It is what it is at this point. Let's see what it takes to actually get one. And for those that don't know, Alabama is a state-run alcohol system. System. And so there are no distributors in Alabama. It is all distributed through the state. And they do it through a series of ABC stores or alcohol beverage control stores. Now what Alabama has started doing a couple of years ago is taking hard to find bourbon and releasing it once a month at select stores throughout the state. They publish this on their website exactly what they're going to release and where they're going to release it. So we know this store should have Blanton's. The hole in what they do though, is they don't tell you how much. Like we have no idea if they're gonna have six bottles or 60 bottles. But typically they only ship in full cases. So the fact that they're gonna have it means they're going to have six of them. But this store is one that usually doesn't get a lot. And so normally when they get Blanton's, it is just six, but you don't know. So if we arrive and we're seventh in line, then we just have to sit and wait hoping that they got more than one case. And if they don't have more than one case, then basically we've wasted our time. The store on bourbon release day opens at 10. So we're gonna get here somewhere around seven o'clock and we're gonna have about three hours to hang out if we wanna find out whether or not we get a bottle. Now I have no idea if there's gonna be anybody here or if there's gonna be already 20 people in line. Normally the bourbon drops, if there's a really hard to find bottle, people will start lining up a day, two days ahead of time to try to land those highly desirable bottles. Normally the Blanton's crowd is going to arrive in the morning, the day of the drop. So this is about the time I think a lot of the Blanton's folks will arrive. But because this is the only place they're dropping it, it may have drawn up much bigger crowd than I anticipate. So let's find out. All right, so it appears as though we are the first people here at seven o'clock. So I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and get some gas in the Lincoln and just come back here in a little bit and see what time. I really wanna see what time the seventh person arrives because the first six should be guaranteed to get a bottle here. So it's really about what time that seventh person actually shows up. The only downside to driving a 1972 Lincoln Continental is Man, she drinks gasoline, but boy, does she look good. Uh, can I have a chicken biscuit combo with a Coke, please? Okay, thank you. Oh, and no cup holders. Of course, now we're back. It's 720 and still nobody here. Typically when this store has Blanton's, we can show up about an hour before they actually open. So we get here at you know 9, 9.30 and there's almost nobody in line, but it's because this store is pretty remote. It's kind of out of the way and that's usually all they get. And that Blanton's is dropping at two or three other locations in this area. I didn't know today with this being the only thing here, if that would draw a little more of a crowd. I know one person 
person that was coming in from out of town that says they were gonna get here early. So that kind of made me think there might be some folks here hanging out trying to get a bottle. But apparently three hours is too much for them to give. So it's gonna be less than three hours for you to get a bottle of blends. I'll update you as more folks Come, but this also makes me a little concerned that maybe people know something I don't and they're not dropping it here or something. I don't know, it's a beautiful day. Got the windows down in the Lincoln. We're gonna sit here and eat breakfast and hang out for a little while. It didn't take long for our first person to pull up. So first person arrived right at 7.25. This SUV just arrived with two folks in it. I'm not sure if they are here for the whiskey drop. They looked a little confused as they were coming in, but that could just be the sun in everybody's freaking face. So that makes three, not including me. So if you arrived at 745, you would still get a bottle of Blanton's. Normally, there's a lot of bourbon folks here and we hang out, but so far, nobody has got out of their car. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch some folks' TikToks. As long as my internet holds up, it's a little iffy. All right, so it's eight o'clock and we have several folks starting to roll in. And we actually had one leave, the guy who showed up second. Actually, Bayer, not sure what his deal was, if he just wanted to go get food or something and then come back, but honestly, he may have gone from second in line to out of the line. All right, so a lot of the folks that had got here, I thought it was starting to stack up. Normally, once we get too many people to really start keeping up with when folks arrive, we'll get out, walk up to the front of the store and get in line. If it's a big drop, we'll actually have a written list or somebody will have a written list where you can write your name down so that you can go back to your car and hang out. With a small drop like this, we're not gonna go through that kind of headache. But a lot of the people that had arrived early we're actually in line for a barber shop that just opened down this little strip mall. So right now, there are just three of us. Store opens in an hour and 50 minutes. So I'll check in as more people start to arrive. Really what we wanna do is we wanna see when the seventh person arrives because that's the person that's probably not going to get a bottle. When I come to these bourbon drops, it's not so much about getting bottles. Bottles are really just a bonus. What I like about coming out to these things is that you get to hang out with other bourbon enthusiasts because if you're not a bourbon enthusiast, what in the world are you doing here at seven o'clock in the morning waiting for a bottle of Blanton's? So we've got some folks here. Let's let's just hang out and see their thoughts on Blanton's and bourbon in general. So what's your name? Lane Finley. Lane, uh, how long have you been into bourbon? Probably didn't start drinking it neat till that three or four years ago. So what's your favorite bourbon? Well, I really like the taste of the Blanton's. I have some that are more expensive, but for whatever reason, the, the Blanton's just fits my palate makes me happy. That's what it's all about, right? If the <laughs> if the bourbon doesn't make you happy, there's no sense in having it. I would think so, yeah. What about yourself? I'm a novice. I had my first taste of Blanton's last night. A neighbor gave me a bottle. That was your first Blanton's you'd ever had? First Blanton's I've ever had. What'd you think about it? Oh, I love it, it's delicious. In fact, my wife, she gags on whiskey and I gave her a sip and she said, wow, that's smooth. I'm doing this as an adventure. 9.15, the sixth and seventh person in line has showed up. We still don't know how many bottles they've got. They haven't posted it yet. When they go to open, they will post the bottle list hopefully with the amounts on it so folks will know whether or not they have a chance at actually getting one and should hang out or whether they can uh, go. But at that point, you might as well just go ahead and hang out because the store's open and you can go in and buy stuff. So I'll check back in here as the store opens and we'll see who gets a bottle and who doesn't. All right, it is 9.30 and they just posted the list. There are six bottles of Blanton's available and right now we have 10 folks in line here. You would have had to have arrived probably about about 9.15 or so with the store opening at 10. So you would have had to waited for about 45 minutes to actually get a bottle of Blanton's here today. Now, if they'd had two cases, you could have showed up right on time. So was it worth it? You were here for about two hours about for that two bottle. Hours. Absolutely, I'll do it again next time. <laughs> now the receipt's not itemized for these, but in case you were wondering, it was $93.26 for a bottle of Blanton's and Buffalo Trace. There also weren't really many other bottles worth seeking. That kept the line down and they're doing the drop at three different locations, even though this was the only one that had Blanton's. But you can get it. Like it's not terribly hard. You just got to dedicate a little time. 